Hello children. We know that all geometric figures are built by basic figures like points, lines, line segments, rays and planes. Let us revise these basic figures and also learn about intersecting lines, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Plane. A plane is a flat surface. It extends infinitely in all directions. It has no boundaries. Point. A point indicates a position in space. It has no length, breadth or thickness. P, R and S are all points in space. We read them as point P, point R and point S. Line A line contains an infinite number of points. The arrows at the ends of a given line indicate that it has no beginning or end. That is, a line extends in both directions. Look at this line. We represent it with letters and the symbol of the line above them like this. We read it as line PQ or line QP. Look at this line. Any two points on a line can be used to name it such as line AB, line BC, line AC, Line CB, line CA or line BA. Now look at this line. We can also name and read the line by a single small letter. For example, line L. Line segment. A line segment contains a finite number of points. It is a fixed distance between two points on a line. It has two end points. Here, DE is a line segment. It is written as DE or ED. Now, let us see how to measure a line segment. The distance between two points is called the length of the segment. To measure a line segment, we use a ruler. A ruler is marked with centimeters. Each centimeter is divided into 10 parts. Each part is 1 millimeter. Now, let's solve an example. Measure the line segment XY. Thus we say, the length of line segment XY is equal to 5.3 centimeters. Next is ray. A ray contains an infinite number of points. A ray has one end point. The other end of the ray is extended indefinitely. XY is a ray. It can be read only as ray XY as we always start from the end point. Do not read it as ray YX. It is written as shown. This ray can be read as ray AB, ray AC. Now, let us learn about intersecting lines. When two lines meet at one point, they are called intersecting lines. Here, line AB and CD meet 
at point P. Hence, line AB and line CD are called intersecting lines. Coming to parallel lines. Two lines that are at the same distance and do not meet are called parallel lines. Here, line AB and line CD are parallel lines. We read it as line AB is parallel to line CD. We write it as shown. Kids, look here. Two lines drawn on either side of a ruler are parallel lines. Lastly, perpendicular lines. When two intersecting lines make a right angle at the point of intersection, then they are called perpendicular lines. Here, line AB and line CD intersect at point P. Here, angle APC is equal to 90 degrees. Hence, these two lines are perpendicular lines. It is read as AB is perpendicular to CD. It is written as shown. Look, here all four angles at the point of intersection P are right angles. Kids, remember, a point has only position and no dimension. A line extends indefinitely in both directions. A segment is a part of a line with two endpoints. A ray has one endpoint. Two lines intersect only at one point. Many lines can pass through a single point. Perpendicular lines intersect at a point making a 90 degrees angle. Parallel lines never meet.